you can't play Minecraft Java with a controller. But I can. Let me show you guys how I'm doing this and I hope you enjoy. By the way, see that behind me? New Minecraft server. Join us. Info in description. Let's start this tutorial. Just a quick note. Yes, any controller does work. I will be using my custom Xbox controller. But if you're using PlayStation or a Steam controller, that will also work just the same way. So sadly, to get a controller working for Java, you are going to need to download a mod. Don't worry, modding Minecraft is easier than it's ever been and it's only getting easier each year. What you need to do is go to the first link in the description and download ModLift. Once ModLift is downloaded and installed to your computer, you'll open it up and then you'll log in on the right hand side. Once you've logged in, you can then go to the left hand side, hit the little plus symbol. Now, why are we using ModLift? Well, ModLift, as I said, modding Minecraft has never been easier. ModLift does all the heavy lifting and all the hard work for you. So once we've gone to the left hand side and hit this little plus symbol, it will open up a create an instance or create a mod pack in other words. So we're just going to name it whatever you want to name it, Minecraft with controller, name it your name, name it whatever, that's optional. Now loader is very important. Anything, if we pick fabric loader, all of our mods need to be fabric compatible. If we use a forge loader, all of our mods need to be forge compatible. So it's personal preference at this point. But I've got news. The mod we're going to be installing today is available for fabric, forge and neo forge. So use either one of those three. It's a personal preference. I'm going to use fabric just because I prefer fabric and most of my mods are fabric mods. Now game version, whatever version you want, we're just going to go with the latest updated version of Minecraft, which is 1.21.8. So let's go and do that and then hit create. Now on the left hand side, it would have created a new mod pack. It says you've got nothing installed, so we can either hit install content and start downloading a library of mods. But that's not what we're here to do. We are here to download controller compatibility. So we need to go to link number two now for that one. So the mod we're going to be downloading is called controllable. Who would have ever guessed that one? Now, fun fact about controllable. You may have heard about the creator before because the creator is Mr. Crayfish. Oh, but who's Mr. Crayfish? Uh, Crazed furniture mod. Come on, you've heard of it at some point. I know you have. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go to controllable, which is the second link in the description, as I mentioned. Now, once we're here, we're going to go to files. Let's say you don't want to use the latest Minecraft version, or maybe you're trying to add it to a mod pack for Minecraft 1.7.10 because you've got mods already. You've got a mod pack already. You don't want to update and move things around. All you got to do is go to files, look at game version, and then find the version that you want. So if your Minecraft is 1.21.4, go to Minecraft 1.21.4. If you're playing Minecraft 1.7.10, just find it in the list. The next thing we're going to look out for is the mod loaders. I downloaded Fabric. Therefore, I'm going to be looking for Fabric. If you downloaded a Forge version, then you want to look for Forge or Neo Forge. So anyway, we did 1.21.8 Fabric. So that's the one we're going to click on. Now we're going to hit download and it will download itself. Don't click on anything. Just wait for it to download. And there we go. It has popped up in the top right hand side. Now another mod we're going to download since we're here is a connection point. It's what enables the mod to work basically. And that is framework also created by Mr. Crayfish. So once again, go to files. And then look for the game version and look for the mod loader 1.21.8 fabric yep that's the one i need click download and then once again this will download give it a second there we go it has popped up in the top right hand side that has now been downloaded so once all of that has been downloaded we can now close out google we don't need it what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our mod lift account and we're going to go over to the left hand side and click on that mod pack that we made. Now we're going to go over to the top right hand side 
we're going to click the three little dots and then click on open folder. Once the folder has opened, you'll see another folder called mods. We're going to open the mods folder and then we're going to open up a new folder. Now for me, I find the two mods that we just downloaded in my downloads folder and that should be the case for most of you, unless you've changed some things. But 9 times out of 10, you'll find the two files inside of your downloads folder. We're going to highlight both of them and we're just going to drag and drop them over into our mods folder. Now once that's done, we should be able to see the two mods right here, which is perfect, it's great. And then once all of that's done, all we got to do is hit play. It should have played if you are on Forge or NeoForge. I forgot, if you're on Fabric, there's one minor thing that we need to download. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the top right hand side here where it says install content within our mod pack. And then this top one right here is what we need to download, Fabric API. We're going to hit the install button. If you can't see Fabric API in this list, all you got to do is search it. So let's download that because Fabric API is something we do need when we're running Fabric mods. So now we've loaded in, we're not going to touch anything. We're going to get our controller. We're going to power on the controller. And then once the controller is powered on, you should be able to start moving. And you'll also notice there on the bottom left hand side of the screen, we've now got Y for inventory and RT for attack. That is how easy it is to connect a controller. And another note I want to give for everyone as well is, if your computer doesn't support Bluetooth, all you need to do is plug your controller in to your computer using a cable. It's as easy as that. You don't need Bluetooth compatibility. You can just hardwire it in, connect a cable, whatever. But yep, ladies and gents, as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. If you do need any help, just ask me down in the comments and I'm more than happy to help you. And one last thing I'm going to leave off with. I actually use controller to record all of these cinematics that you're currently seeing on screen at the minute. I don't use keyboard and mouse for cinematics because with controller it enables you to get smoother movements. So if you want a cinematic how to video, make sure to subscribe for that one. But with that being said guys, that is a super easy tutorial on how to play with a controller on Java Minecraft.